So today, okay. I'll start with the procurement process for the stock materials. So, uh, uh, this is the benefits like we are uh, using the integrative or uh, in integrative data uh, sets like purchasing info record source list contract in this process. So these are the benefits. And uh, no, before you are going to present, you just tell about okay, this is the figure analysis, right? <clears throat> okay, so give an introduction to what I what you are going to present. Okay, and, uh, uh, so then you go with your PPT. Center. Okay, sure, sir. Uh, hi, all. Uh, today I'm going to present the fit gap analysis for the procurement process for stock materials. So, <clears throat> Uh, these are the benefits for the stock uh, stock procurement process like in this we are going to integrate use all the sets of data like purchasing info record source list contracts and uh, these are all the benefits for this and key process uh, involved in this process are like uh, firstly uh, manage purchase requisition then purchase orders then goods received and then manage the stocks and manage invoices. So I will make it. Uh, for this uh, software is re required SAP S4 HANA 2020. And uh, roles are involved in this uh, requisitioner or MRP controller uh, who is going to prepare the purchase requisition or uh, run the MRP. And then storekeeper means uh, this is the warehouse person or uh, and uh, next one is a purchasing manager, uh, buyer and warehouse clerk and accounts payable department. Uh, this is the overview for the procurement uh, to stock uh, process like uh, st process starts with uh, identifying the demand and once we have the demand either uh, the material is relevant for the MRP or not. If it is not relevant for the MRP, then uh, purchase requisition will be generated manually uh, by the user department. After that, uh, it will come to buy queue for the, uh, to process that purchase requisition. If you don't have the particular uh, vendor uh, for that material, then uh, the uh, buyer team will perform the RFQ and uh, Buyer team will perform the RFQ and they'll select the vendor. Once the, uh, they'll receive the quotation from the vendor, and uh, once the quotation is feasible, they can they can select the vendor and create the purchase order. And next step to is the uh, uh, supplier provide the goods and uh, will receive at our warehouse. So GRN process done at that time. And next step is uh, payment. So this is the flow diagram for this. As I explained, the first step is to identify the materials or MRP uh, generates the procurement needs. So if uh, if uh, procurement purchase requisition, uh, if you have the material needs, then the requisitioner will check the stock. Uh, like uh, they will first create the reservation and storekeeper will check the stock. If it is stock available, they'll issue the goods against that reservation. Uh, if the stock is not available, <coughs> uh, not available and uh, it is uh, if it is relevant for the MRP, then uh, MRP generates the purchase requisition or planned order. And if it is not relevant for the MRP, then uh, uh, requisitioner will create a uh, uh, so purchase requisitioner but in this case uh, and in the scope document i saw storekeeper use is going to create the purchase uh, requisitioner so i keep it as a storekeeper over here and then next uh, if the uh, material is vendor is available for that uh, material uh, then uh, buyer will issue the purchase order if it is not then they will perform the request for quotation and if the purchase request order is accurate then uh, it will went uh, for the purchase PO approver this is a purchasing manager role so if it is not PO manager will uh, return this um, PO if it is not okay purchase order then they will return the purchase order to the buyer's queue for the correction once buyer will uh, update the PO and then again uh, he 
buyer will resend the PO to the uh, PO for approval process. Once the PO is approved, then uh, it will be sent to the vendor. And uh, uh, once it is delivered to the vendor, vendor will provide the goods as per our requirement date. So we'll do GRN at our warehouse and the next step is uh, incoming invoice where uh, invoice will uh, come from the uh, receive from vendor and then we will pay the invoice so these are the uh, rules sir okay see <clears throat> you said like there is a reservation process right yes yeah see for example so suppose let's say there is a stationaries or any material any stock item so which is already available in the store okay yes so now what happened so there is a requirement like who is uh, reserving first so this material should be available only for the respective uh, person okay suppose okay. <clears throat> there is a <clears throat> two employee who reserved the material let's say the available stock is uh, you know let's say for 50 pieces okay so first person is reserved for you know <clears throat> you know uh, let's say for 30 pieces and second person is reserving for uh, so balance you know uh, 20 pieces okay okay uh, okay or maybe uh, okay uh, or maybe he reserved for more than uh, available stock maybe more than uh, 25 so in okay. this case system how the system behaves actually okay then uh, store uh, like uh, uh, requisition can create two reservations for no, each not requisition. so you are creating the reservation okay if this reservation yeah. you know, is, uh, system is created so system okay. based on the already stock also available. So what the requirement is, I mean, uh, the you know, uh, I want to understand. So how uh, the system behaves. So you created the reservation, and uh, you know, let's say for 30 pieces, another person is created the reservation for again 30 pieces. But stock is totally is available is 50, correct? Yes. Okay. So now. So the first person is not, uh, you know, received that material. So till that time, second person trying to, you know, uh, receive that material. They maybe they are issuing the warehouse clerk is issuing the material to the person too. So they don't want to accept. So because already the stock is reserved, the person one, and the stock okay. at the time the stock was available. And meanwhile, the second person also created the reservation, but there is a shortages of ten quantity. So in this case, the so system should not, you know. Uh, allocate to uh, so that their stock. Is first person only have to receive first. So second person has to receive second, whatever the available stock. So, so any possibility how we can able to validate in system. Or so this is maybe it's a standard uh, process. Can we achieve or maybe uh, we need to do any kind of uh, enhancements or something? Mm, not sure, sir, on this. So, so first you check maybe uh, the reservation process. You put some fifty quantity and try with uh, thirty plus thirty. Check how system okay. behaves first. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So sir. then you just maybe uh, the next session you just present about that the reservation process. So who's you know let's say two person is creating the reservation. The available stock is fifty, but uh, two of them creating thirty plus thirty. So now okay. how we are issuing? How system is accepting? So. Okay, so you should know maybe the person to you are trying to issue whether system is accepting or not, right? So that you do the checking and how the system behaves first that you have to understand. You just demonstrate also. After that, we will do uh, maybe the expectation, customer expectation you understood, right? Yes, yes. So basically, uh, on which parameter uh, the goods will allocate to the reservation, See, right? Yeah, see, parameter in the sense like, you know, uh, it's nothing but timing, right? So you are the first yes. person, that's a time is the only constraint, right? So I created first time, for, I mean, uh, uh, you know, let's say for the, I created today, another person is created maybe second of evening. So okay. the system should not issue the material to the person who created, you know, uh, after me, right? Yes. Yeah, so how you will, uh, you know, check this, yeah, how system will... You will make the system to work. Who created the first and who created the second? And at the time, what is the stock? How much is available? So this functionality we need to make it uh, to execute in the system. So, so first you okay. execute the standard behavior how system works. So okay. then you understand what is the customer expectation. 
okay how okay. you are going to achieve this, this is through any kind of gaps or any kind of enhancement so how you are going to achieve that as a consultant you have to you know uh, give a solution okay okay sir i'll check on this yeah. uh, sure thank you yeah